there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Four of Pentacles reversed. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Wands upright. So for your overall energy, you have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright position. The strong, independent energy. This is all about I can look after myself and I do not need anybody else um, type of energy. And yes, you can. When the Nine of Pentacles is here, it can indicate you're perfectly capable of looking after yourself. The only warning here I feel with the Nine of Pentacles is sometimes we can be overly independent and push people away when they are genuinely there to help us and then lending a hand. So if you do want their assistance in any way make sure you embrace that but in the meantime you're going to be feeling very independent this week and very strong it could be uh, good news for some of you perhaps you've landed a job that enables you to you know cover your whole expenses with uh, everything so you're feeling good you're in a good place <laughs> Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is the Hoarder card in the upright position, where we're holding on too tightly to belief systems, holding on too tightly to our belongings and things like that. It can be a need to save or a need to, uh, you know, put things in a better financial perspective when the card is reversed this can indicate some good news maybe we are paying something off it could be paying off our vehicle paying off some debts things like that for others of you this could represent letting go of old belief systems and releasing that um for some of you, the <laughs> Four of Pentacles can indicate that you are letting go of material things. It could be selling things off because in the upright position, this is where we're holding on to it. Uh, we say go have a garage sale. When it's reversed, this could be where we're letting go of some things and uh, it could be selling them, could be giving them away, could be just, you know, cleaning out your closet, that kind of thing. Next card up is the death card Scorpio energy in the upright position. This can point to um, one of two things. It, it's either a situation, a relationship, or something in your life either needs to transform in a major way or it has to come to its natural end. There's no way around it. It's, it's a situation in your life. This could be playing out at work. This could be playing out uh, in the family, you know, spouse, whatever. There's something going on here that needs a major overhaul. This is where we need to really, really step up our game in terms of changing something because it cannot go on the way it is any longer. This is about uh, transforming it into something that is workable or it needs to stop completely. Something needs to come to an end. It could be a really toxic uh, work environment, toxic relationship, toxic uh, neighborhood, uh, you know, something is just over the top. And you're sort of putting your foot down now. You're saying it needs to change. And the next card is the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're burdened by something. Something is proving to be quite the burden for you here, Sagittarius. It is time to turn this upside down. The Ten of Wands represents we are carrying a heavy load. Remember, tens represent endings. What do we see here? So the burdens need to come to an end. This is basically the end of the road. So whatever is on your plate, some of you have had too much on your plate lately and you just cannot deal with it anymore. You need to have some kind of release, some kind of relief. So something needs to come to an end here, Sagittarius with the Ten of Wands, because it's too much of a burden. Sometimes this can uh, come up when it's a temporary situation, such as if you're lucky, it's just like, I have to move. And it's very, very physically demanding and stressful to move. I've been through several moves. I know pff, too well <laughs> what that's like. 
So it could be a temporary situation for some of you. For others of you, this is an ongoing situation. And you've just pretty much had enough. With the Ten of Wands being there, it won't be able to survive in your experience for much longer. Something needs to give here. Especially like... Ten of Wands is quite the burden, but then you also have this energy around you. This seems to be around the middle of the week. So it's time to release something. It's it's just gotten to the point of no return here. Last card you have is the Two of Wands. See here, th look at this beautiful progression. You move into the Two of Wands. That's one foot in the past, one foot in the future. I don't think you want much to do with the past because it's proven to be too much of a burden. This is where... We have our eye on the prize. We are looking at the future and the future only. So I think you're ready, Sag, to leave something behind in the past and move a full on lock, stock and barrel towards the future. Two of Wands is where we're like sort of gazing at the horizon. We are looking at where we're going. We've already planted some kind of seed and we kind of have an idea of where we're going and now it's time to put it into action because that's where in the story of the tarot the three of wands becomes the four of wands and so forth so you are finally ready to take that step and move forward with something and ready to leave this huge burden behind you and remember you're in a stable place if ever there was a good time to do it it's now it looks like some of you could be moving like literally physically moving you know releasing of material goods letting go saying goodbye to your old neighborhood apartment house whatever and you're moving right and now you're ready to step into your future <laughs> well let us know in the comment section below if that's what's going on here Yes, you are very much uh, looking at the horizon and where you're going now. Hmm, really interesting reading. I would love to hear from you Sagittarians in the comment section and let us know what is going on and if this reading resonated for you because it is such an interesting reading. Are any of you moving? Is something going on like really, really drastic in your life? Let us know. So I want to thank you very much for joining me. And speaking of joining me, I hope you will be joining me on the Star Lotus podcast airing on this channel on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. And on the 14th of April, my guest will be Chris Reck from uh, Minnow Pond fame. You all probably know him, know his channel. It's huge. And also he's been on my podcast before, but we're going to be having a really interesting conversation this weekend. Hope you can join us and uh, be a part of the chat or just come be a part of the live audience or you can watch it in the replay. Whatever suits your lifestyle or your desires best. <laughs> so I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.